What's up guys? Following my video the other day where I was doing some spraying in the van, I had to move the van because there was a wedding going on at the place where I store it, so I had to move it out of the way. And when I came to move it out of the way, it sounded pretty rough and it drove even rougher. Whenever I was putting my foot down, I wasn't getting much power. So I've done a bit of research and I think the first place to start, have a go at upgrading to an electronic ignition so the electronic ignition is cheers cooper the electronic ignition is uh, meant to be more reliable um, and uh, make it more efficient before installing the electronic one i will um, try and re well adjust the points that are on there currently and then start it up to see if that makes any difference because if it does then that kind of points to it be in the points and then I can just go ahead and replace them with the electronic ignition so yeah we're gonna have a go my dad's gonna help me out first time he hasn't done this stuff before so he's just as clueless so we'll give it a shot and see how we get on so my dad and I tried for about an hour and a half to work out what was going on we took apart the distributor took out the points and we're starting to install the electronic ignition it just so happened that there were two guys that live in my village who are air-cooled engine fanatics so they they know quite a bit about air-cooled engines and they just saw us working on it came over and gave us some advice and, and what they said was put the points back in try adjusting them again to the correct gap the gap i found was wrong apparently so i put the points back in back to how it originally was got this guy who just rocked up and started to help us got him to help set in the gap because that's not something i've done before started it up and it ran uh, pretty pretty good better than it's probably run since we got it actually <laughs> just resetting the points gap made a massive difference and i was able to drive the van from where i'd had to pull over at the side of the road to my house and where i was going to do some work on it over the weekend so the installation of the electronic ignition will be a video for a later date because i need a couple of extra parts for that which i didn't realize at first So far I'm really happy with the finish I've managed to get with the spray can. I need to get a couple more cans because it definitely needs a few more coats. But ideally when it's finished it's going to look very much like this corner with a bit of a shine to it. Uh, which is very similar to the original kind of finish that was on there when we got it but without the rust. Thank you so much for watching guys. I realised that this video was a little bit choppy because there was a few different things I covered in it. And hopefully next time I do some work, I actually remember to record it with the camera. 
please let me know what you think in the comments and give me some tips if i'm doing something wrong tell me all right guys i'll see you next time cheers